how are you? I'm good, thanks. You look very beautiful. Well, thank you. Got You're a little peacoat thing happening. Looks nice on you. Thank you. Now, do you remember first time we met? On an American Airlines plane, was it? That's right. Yeah. And I didn't say anything to you the whole <laughs> flight, did I? No, you came up to me at the end, and you said you're a big fan. And at that time, I, I think I might have had one album out. Uh, you were working at VH1. But you were nominated for Best New Artist for exactly, the Grammy Awards, exactly. which I knew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And People you said, magazine <laughs> in my head. And then I followed you on VH1. I, uh, you were doing it, and then I did a, a show of my own. And then I, you went to Broadway, and I saw you at the, uh, the City Meals on Wheels. You That's were in right. rehearsal, and I followed you on Broadway then. See? We're friends. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm gushing. People don't like that I do that. I'm going to stop gushing. I'll try to be, like, totally disconnected. So, how's your new movie? <laughs> See, that, that wouldn't be good, <laughs> would it? Work, no, work. I saw the movie yesterday, and I loved it, and you're great in it. Thanks. Are, does this mean you're not going to be doing any more records? No, of course. I'm going to be, I'm working on an album now, which hopefully will be out in October. I just finished a Christmas album, which will be out this Christmas. And, uh, you know, why not do it all? I mean, you're a prime example of being able to do a talk show, but also having movie credits, singing on Broadway, and loving it. That's right. You know? And being a mom like you. Absolutely. How are you kids? My kids are great. Today's the last day of school. Yay! Yay! And now the headache begins for you, right? All summer. summer camp. You have yeah. three, three kids. Three kids, two girls and a boy. And yeah. how old are they now? Um, Jillian just turned uh, seven. We went to Beauty and the Beast on Wednesday with 11 kids in a limo. Yeah. Whoa. Did they enjoy Woo! it? Yeah, they enjoyed it, but uh, the ride there and back was uh, enough to say, I'm never doing that again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and my oldest is uh, going to be nine next week, and the baby's three. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. goes by quick, doesn't it? It does. It really does. Do you think they have aspirations for showbiz, or is it too early to tell? Well, my oldest daughter definitely is bitten by the bug. I mean, you know, I bring him to work if I'm doing a movie, if I'm in the recording studio. They've seen every aspect, but... Um, my daughter did three productions this year. She's only in third grade. She did a winter <laughs> production. She uh, had a solo in that. She did uh, Charlotte's Web. She was one of the lambs. And then she just did The Princess and the Princess and the Pea in her uh, third grade opera. So The lead. The lead. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Are you one of those sort of stage mother types? Like, do you cheer her on in the audience? You know? I get really nervous. I, yeah. I, I can't even uh, keep it together. I mean, I, it's hard for me because I'm nervous for her. So, uh, right. But at the end, I'm, I'm uh, supportive and excited. Yeah. Now, when you do a movie like A Race, you're, you're gone for a long time. Do you bring the kids with you to the set? Well, this was a tough one because most of it shot out in L.A. Uh, right. And it started in New York, which was great. But I was out there for about six months. So... Uh, I didn't want to yank him out of school, so I'd fly home every weekend. Gosh, which, whew, the American tiring. Airlines loved me. Yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah, very, yeah. very tiring. Uh -huh, yeah, but most of the time, I mean, like I, when I did uh, Bye Bye Birdie, we uh, went up and did it in Vancouver, and they put him in camp up there, and it was a nice, nice summer. Right, I don't so. know if you saw that TV movie Bye Bye Birdie, which I loved. Hi, Rosie. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa. What's the story? Morning Glory. What's the tale? Nightingale. Tell me quick about Hugo and Kim. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> Me. I oh. cajole them, but oh, not you. Time. Now, how was it meeting Arnold? Arnold, he's great to work with. He's uh, he's larger than life. I mean, not only in physical oh. scale. Hey, hey, but... get your minds out of the gutter. <laughs> These audience members are crazy. Now, he was a sweetheart. He was really, uh, you know, for me, it was me walking into a boys club because right. he's, you know, he's, he does that, that action adventure thing. That's his shtick. So, walking into his environment, he really made me feel good. Um, but at the screen test, he said, you know, there's a lot of similarities between you and me. We're both fighters. People perceived us as these things, these beings, these bodies. And people had no idea what our dreams were. And he felt that we had this common spirit. So uh, I think you can really see it on screen. And it's, it's, it's more than just blowing up things for blowing up sake. It's, it's kind of a relationship movie, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, yeah I, th I was really entertained, I have mm -hmm. to tell you. You know, I, and I could actually follow the plot. <laughs> You're right. Some of this summer's uh, movies, <laughs> don't want to mention any names because I love Tom Cruise, but um, <laughs> I was confused. I needed cliff notes for Mission Impossible, <laughs> although I saw it twice because I love Tom Cruise. Please come on my show. But um, <laughs> I followed this. It was really good. Yeah, you know, good, yeah. and, and you were wonderful in it. Do you have any more movies in the works? I'm doing a film with Lawrence Fishburne uh, oh, this love summer. Too. Yeah, Tim Roth and Andy Garcia, wow. Cicely Tyson, wow, Ooh, the Madame, yes, and it's called uh, um, Hoods, and it's about. Uh, 
back in the in the 30s in Harlem, uh, the numbers racket. And Dutch Schultz, the gangster, wanted to take over the numbers racket. And Bumpy Johnson, who Lawrence plays, is the kingpin up there. And who do you and, play? Uh, and I play his love interest, who's a nurse, a nurse. Francine. Francine, a and, nurse. And uh, she's a Marcus Garvey, very, uh, very much of a 90s woman back there, you know, trying to, con you know, consolidate the community, keep the money in, and... Uh, she falls in love with Bumpy and doesn't realize why he has to live this life of the underworld when he's so smart. See? No, that's going to be a good movie. Yeah. Hopefully you'll call all of them and tell them how much fun you've had on this show. <laughs> and get them on here. And they'll all come. <laughs> now, we have some. We're going to talk. You don't have any guns in this new movie, but you do. You were very good at all the gun stuff in Erasure. So we yes. have some guns. Vanessa's going to teach me how to use the gun thing. Just a fake gun because we're not supportive of guns on this show. That's right. Uh, more with Vanessa Williams. <laughs> Excuse me, after that. I mean, it's a hard thing to know what to do. Vanessa Williams here on the hey, Rubio Battle hey. Show. <laughs> How are you, Vanessa? You're doing great. Good. I understand you You did, you were involved in the album that a lot of the benefits go to the Pediatric AIDS Foundation. Yeah, we, uh, I, I'm doing a lullaby. Um, Ashley, it was the, my daughter's song that she sang in her Winter Lights pr uh, production called uh, Little Snowflake. And uh, Pediatric AIDS, great album. And uh, doing that, and I've, you know, I've lost so many friends, so many people from this industry, um, and it's it's sickening. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Elizabeth Glazier, she founded that organization, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Pediatric AIDS Foundation. Yeah. She yeah. Uh, died last year, and yep. the organization continues to thrive, and if you want any information about that, you can uh, call the show, and we'll fill you in right. on, on how to do that. Right. Today's the day of compassion, so we wanted to do that. And Absolutely. All righty. It's a hard thing, you know? It is, it because is. Because it's so serious, and I have lost so many friends, and you don't know how to uh, incorporate it into a show. That's yeah, but the most important thing, I mean, be able to sing, that's the most joyful thing. So being able to contribute in that way is wonderful. The AIDS dance on you know, singing for all those people, those are uh, wonderful things. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone just has to do what they can. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Absolutely. So um, on, a, on a different note, um, how's your hubby? He's good. He's great. Yeah, yeah. Actually, he manages one of the girls from Rent, so. Really? Yeah, Which yeah. Which girl? Let's give her a point. Uh, uh, Daphne. Daphne, Daphne, where are you? Ruben Vega. Daphne She's Ruben Vega, who I believe was nominated for a Tony Award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, she was. Yeah, he manages her. Uh, they're coming out here and they're mm -hmm. going to do a little song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might sing with them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know yet. <laughs> I've been practicing. And it's hard because if it's a show like Rent, it's brand new. The CD yeah. isn't even out yet. So you don't know the songs. You know how many times I had to hide in the back of that theater <laughs> this week just so I could learn all the work? <laughs> 555,600 seconds. I don't know. If I, I'll fake it. I'll lip sync. They won't know. <laughs> Millie Vanilli O'Donnell. Whatever. <laughs> All right, so here we got we got you some guns here, some toy guns. Yeah. I want you to show me some of these Cadney and Lacey gun etiquette. You know, I play a very strong woman. She's a, a top executive at uh, the Cyrex Corporation, and so she's a smart woman. Never handled a gun, and Arnold gives her a gun to handle. So I didn't want to make her really wimpy. So I had to learn how to handle. Well, this should be a 38, and we are not allowed to do it because we're on morning television. And we uh, don't want to do it because real guns are scary. Absolutely. But let me let me just do a couple stances All right. for you. All right, look. Okay. <laughs> now, See, when we normally first... in these action-adventure movies, they have women holding guns like this, and they don't know really what to do. I, I would say that a woman normally, yeah. for good posture, holds it with one hand and braces with the other. That's the Charlie's Angels hold. Absolutely. <laughs> Remember? Right. Jill Monroe. Jill Monroe, right, exactly. I remember that. Exactly. Now, however, if you really get good, you can do the one hand, boom. That's sort of Cagney and Lacey. Exactly. Or do the running over the shoulder, boom. Oh, that's Angie Dickinson in Police <laughs> Woman. <laughs> remember that? Now, you also have to learn how to lunge and do a lot of quick head turns, and your hair must move. Okay. So pretend you're running down a hall. Oh, you see that? I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. Right. I, I was not Miss America. I don't know if I could. Do... <laughs> you got it. You know, I, I'm not good at the lunging. I don't like to work out. Yeah, no, that's that. Uh, and then, of course, you know, the, there's your standard sliding and rolling, which uh, oh, well. can get a little tricky. Can you actually say, do a slide roll? Well, we'll see if the, I got my little cute mules on today. Um, right. But say, for instance, a glass panel is coming down. You've got to scoot under the glass panel and go like that. Oh, man! I now, feel like I should give you a score, <laughs> degree of difficulty, 9.0 for the gold medal, but that's all I am. I'll try it. Yeah! Nice. I think I pulled my...
my hip muscle. <laughs> you know, just think, if things don't go well with the show for me, maybe you and I could do a cop Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. What do you think? Vanessa huh? and Rosie. Yeah, yeah. Coming up next, the cast of Ren, Vanessa Williams. Thank you very much.